Hello everybody, and welcome back to RimWorld. This is the Thinking Spot colony as we left it last time. Currently, we have two colonists, McDonald and Samantha, and we have three people visiting our colony currently. We also have a pet, Thrumbo, named George, who self-tamed last time, and we have a hare named Friar, who we're watching for the tribe's people. I'm also going to mark this compacted steel to be mined, because we need more steel for this room so we can put concrete in here. And now that the rest of the rice is finished growing, McDonald can go through and harvest all of this. Okay, and before I have Samantha do any more research, I'm gonna have her spend the night cutting some stone blocks at the stone cutter's table so we can build a path outside, because our path will stop us from tracking as much dirt in our house. And I thought I miscalculated, so we're gonna have to actually get some more limestone blocks. And Samantha has figured out how to make air conditioning for us, which will be very useful, because now we can refrigerate food. And now we can get as much food as we want without worrying about it going bad. The next thing we will research will be batteries, so that way we can make a- we can store excess power, because we're gonna- we plan on having a- I plan on putting up a wind turbine, and sometimes the wind won't blow, so you're gonna want a battery. I will put a wind turbine right here, and I will cut down these trees so they don't get in the way. And our guests had an actual okay stay, score 44, rather than last time when we got a score of minus 3. And Gawain really enjoyed her stay, and she gave us 59 camel hide. Thank you very much, Gawain. And we got our first harvest of potatoes, so now we shouldn't have to worry about food for a really long time, because you get a lot of food from potato crops. And we're being raided by Imperials from the Fallen Empire. They're attacking immediately. They've got heavy SMGs and assault rifles. This could be a little bit of a challenge, because they're also clever and they'll notice some of my traps. Gonna have Samantha down some go juice. Now Samantha's gonna be a real powerhouse. Samantha's gonna have to approach because she can't hit from where she is. I'm going to have Samantha deploy her broad shield. And McDonald is going to run into there. Alright, we took them out. This guy also had an assault rifle, so we can give Samantha a better weapon now. I'm going to have Samantha go home to go rest. And I'm going to have McDonald go steal this guy's clothing. We had to use our broad shield pack for that fight, which was a little bit rough. And Samantha got fully treated for her injuries. She's still high on Gojuice, so she isn't in any pain. I think when her Gojuice wears off, she's going to drop unconscious because of all the pain she's in. And I'm also going to have Samantha go grab that assault rifle. Because she'll be much better with an assault rifle than she will be with a... She'll be much better with an assault rifle than she will be with a revolver. And at the same time... We're also getting raided by Outlanders who are attacking immediately. Hopefully Samantha can get the assault rifle. And she also should have time to put on a flak vest and a flak helmet. We had to use our broad shield pack for that fight, which was a little bit rough. Okay. And Samantha got fully treated for her injuries. She's still high on Gojuice, so she isn't in any pain. I think when her Gojuice wears off, she's going to drop unconscious because of all the pain she's in. We'll see. And I'm also going to have Samantha go grab that assault rifle. Because she'll be much better with an assault rifle than she will be with a... She'll be much better with an assault rifle than she will be with a revolver. And at the same time, we're also getting raided by Outlanders who are attacking immediately. Hopefully Samantha can get the assault rifle. And she also should have time to put on a flak vest and a flak helmet. Okay. People gotta get going. Alright, here come the Outlanders.
And we took out that guy, so now they're going to run away. And Samantha figured out how to make batteries. So now we're going to have her figure out how to do machining. And Samantha's go juice wore off, and now she's in pain shock. Alright, so let's just go tuck Samantha into bed. And we can go and continue with our day and harvest some potato plants. And now we have a quest, Shelter for Lane. Someone wants to stay at our colony for 16 days. And one of the rewards, we can get gold and a broad shield pack. And because the quest is just to host someone for 16 days, I'll do that. Welcome to the colony lane. And he's immediately going to go inject go juice, but we're not going to let that happen. And we have an exotic goods trader showing up. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell our thrombo off because he wasn't going to stay with us forever anyways. Using that money we can buy an architect pain stopper. Now this completely stops people from being in pain and it also makes them much smarter and whatnot. So that's definitely worth it. And then the rest of the money we're making from this deal we're going to we're going to buy glitter world medicine with. Also to um, preemptively defend against future raids, we're going to put some barricades in the south part of our base. And we're also going to, I'm going to put some spike traps in front of the barricades. That includes up here as well. And the trade caravan is leaving and there is a mad muffalo. But I think the traders will kill it. They killed it. Goodbye, George. See you in another life, buddy. We will miss you, George. Goodbye. Okay, and now that McDonald is fully healed, um, she has the highest chance of succeeding at a surgery. So we're going to do an operation on Samantha to give her an architect pain stopper. Now that the room is fully clean and we have light, we have a very high chance of succeeding at the surgery. And now Samantha has the architect pain stopper. And Samantha figured out how to make a machining table. We're going to have Samantha re head straight towards microelectronics and research that. And a combat supplier just showed up. So they will buy our auto pistol our revolver, and our machine pistol, as well as our pump shotgun. From them, I'm going to buy a steel flak helmet for our, for McDonald, and just a bunch of medicine. So now you can see that um, Samantha, when she's not longer on anesthetic, has 150% consciousness, making her manipulation, talking, eating, all go up by a lot. And I think her moving would normally go up, but her leg got a really bad, has a really bad scratch scar, so actually she's slowed down. So we'll have to get her a better leg. And we have a quest to hunt four manhunting snow hares. But the reward is just an L-Tex shirt, so it's not exactly something we would use, but I think we're going to do the quest anyways, just because snow hares are pretty easy to fight. And we're going to have Samantha do some work on this path, because McDonald hasn't had any time in the day to finish it. And here come the snow hares. I don't think this will be a real problem. We can just draft everyone. Lane has a gun, so he can help. Here they come. Alright, we killed them. And here comes our reward. An Eltex shirt. We're not going to use it because we don't have anyone who's a Psycaster. And it will be hard to get a Psycaster because, because the Empire hates us. But if we ever get a chance to get Psycasts, I'll let them wear the Altex shirt. And Samantha got an infection, so that's cool. And McDonald is going to hide in her room because of depressive. So Samantha will not be treated for her infection for a little bit. So hopefully she doesn't die. And... McDonald is done hiding in her room, so she's gonna go treat Samantha for her infection. 100% treatment quality. She should be fine. And now McDonald's actually able to get some 
construction projects done that we haven't been able to do. Um, we won't be able to actually get any electrical stuff done until we find some steel. And no, nobody is particularly good at mining. So that might be a little bit. And we're now being raided by tribes people. And they're running away. Okay, now that we have cooling unlocked, we are eventually going to make like a dedicated food stockpile room. So we're going to make some food baskets just to store all the vegetables we got. Okay, we finally got our defenses set up completely. And we're also done with rainy thunderstorm. I don't know if you noticed, but it's been a rainy thunderstorm the last like two episodes because of that quest we accepted. It eventually, it's no longer a rainy thunderstorm. It's now it's going to be nice outside for once. I'm actually going to let Samantha do some mining for the night. Yeah, she should be able to get us a little bit of steel for the next day so we can get our electricity set up. Alright, that should be enough steel. McDonald is going to go use the steel to make a wind turbine. Visitors have arrived, and they're afraid because we don't have guest beds. We can't have visitors right now because we're using our guest room, so we're going to send them away. And we're going to use all the steel to make our wind turbine. And then we're going to McDonald, of course, cut this tree and this tree so that the wind turbine actually works. And now we can get our kitchen fully set up and electrified. And now that we have this going, we're going to run a power conduit just right through here. Alright, and Samantha will spend the night fixing up all the electrical needs for our base. Okay, and then we're going to just set these to a cold temperature. I'm also going to build a battery right here just so we can save up power. And there's a really bad heat wave. This heat wave could be really bad, actually, because it's like... It's already 100 degrees out, and it's gonna, just going to get really hot. And now, we actually have a dedicated room for McDonald to cook for us. The next thing I'm going to do, which is not going to be done in this video, is I'm going to make a separate dining room so people don't walk into McDonald's bedroom to eat their food. But that will be saved for another time. In the meantime, we're going to end this video here with the completion of electronic devices in our base. We have a way to refrigerate our food now and we also have a nice kitchen. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. Check out my other videos if you're at all interested. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.